Greetings, dear ones, dear sacred rebels, beautiful souls, black sheep, outcasts, weirdos who are not trying to fit in, but they're proud that they stand out. I greet you. I'm Campson Oracle, in case this is your first video. And um, I wanted to share uh, something briefly. I'm going to try to channel this briefly. <laughs> um, but I wanted to say that I'm very aware of the triggering that we are feeling in the collective right now and some days are more difficult than others um, so everything that I do I'm weighing in on the, the collective consciousness that is developing to bring balance to the collective unconscious I just can't hold this in anymore and I have to say this because I'm so sick of watching people hurt and watching people die and they don't know why. The age of Pisces was used as a blindfold. Our parents and grandparents and those that raised us, they had no idea about karma or dharma, past lives, karmic debt, DNA manipulation, which did not start in 2020. Okay, that's been going on for a really long time. They didn't know. They didn't know what the um, impact would be of us being whooped and disciplined for so many things. But it was not balanced with receiving the love and the nurturing. And no one taught us what it meant to have a healthy boundary. What it meant to have a voice. What it meant to be proud of who you are. To be proud of where you come from. So as we were going to school and getting indoctrinated with white supremacy. And then coming home to that. And maybe sometimes being forced to worship a white God. That's a lot of trauma. And that, that level of trauma is equal to the level of trauma that SRA people experience. Satanic ritual abuse. Yes, you heard it here. I'm saying it. And I stand on it. What we went through was as equal to the impacts of satanic ritual abuse because that's what it was. Now, how was this planet turned into a prison planet? Was it always a prison planet? When this planet was key, was she a prison planet? You know, is Gaia a prison planet? Or is there a net? being created around this planet to keep us stuck for its reincarcerations I didn't mispronounce that I meant it exactly like that forced reincarcerations mm -hmm. that's why those words are so close together and, and, and when you look at them so that's a really simple etymology that you could just pay attention to words sometimes they're anagrams Satan, Santa, right? Incarceration, incarnation. So, um, yeah, that's just a little tidbit because I'm going in deep with the root camp. Of course, you're getting, a, you know, some of this information with the um, religious detox, which is now part two and part three, which we're getting more into the connection with your subtle bodies, all of your chakras and your relationships and your spirit guides and being able to um, connect with your spiritual parent, your matrons of the subconscious mind to help you heal the trauma. It's one of the biggest mistakes that people make with shadow work, including me. Okay, I did that for many years to figure this out. So, with that being said, I want to share a little bit with you about the goddess and that energy and why the divine feminine energy is back. Now, in the age of Pisces, goddess energy was demonized and it doesn't matter which three monotheistic religions you look into if you go back and read how women and little girls and what they experience and you don't see a horror movie then that means that your mind is still plugged into the false womb matrix and you can't see anything outside of what the blue pill allows you to see Sometimes truth is so painful that looking at it, it feels like it's too much to bear. I get it. So to walk in the truth, you actually have to love it. And that means that you embrace the pain that you experience from your awakening because it's part of the process and to not judge it. 
But this right here, I want you to really, really digest this information. This is going to show you why what's happening is happening and why we needed to go back to the root chakra with the root camp and start again to heal our inner child. God's commandment was that a woman who grabs a man's genitals must have her hand cut off. Even if she does it to defend her husband against an enemy. Deuteronomy 25, 11 through 12. It states that when men fight with one another and the wife of one draws near to rescue her husband from the hand of him who is beating him and puts out her hand and seizes him by the private parts, then you shall cut off her hand and your eyes shall have no pity. Pimp shit. Can you hear the pimp shit? Only thing we missing is the powder on the hand and the pinky ring. Let me keep going. The Hebrew word here for private parts is mabush or mabush, mabush, M-A-B-U-S-H, which is rendered by King James as secrets. Mm. And it is defined by the Strong's Concordance, H-4016, as literally meaning that excites shame. This term is used only once in the Old Testament. And yarik is preferred to indicate loins. This was really specific. Now it's so much in that one scripture Deuteronomy 25, 11 through 12. But can you see why anything pertaining to God is feminine energy, subconscious, unconscious mind, darkness or true healing and rebirth was demonized to keep you forced reincarcerated on the prison planet? I mean, I showed y'all the... Um, in the post that I made um, about the crime where the slave, she was taken up for herself, Celia. And, and she wasn't even allowed to take up for herself. Do y'all remember that? If you don't, go follow our IG, scroll through it and read that post because I put a lot of relevant information in there. Now, the hatred from the patriarchy that was passed down from the false ET gods and I'm going to tell you who they are in the planetary magic class coming up which we we reduced to half off because it's a new you mystery school class but in case you just want this one class because it is very very important for those of us going through the awakening we marked it down so it's, it's 45 percent off actually 50 um, so just head over to newverselive.com and purchase your tickets to the planetary magic class because I'm going to get deeper into to this. What part do you play? What is your purpose in life? Is it possible that your purpose in life has something to do with something that I read? That you come here to anchor energy to heal the feminine? That some of the masculines listen to me now feel more of a yearning to be less toxic and healthier in your approach to the feminine. Are you feeling like maybe we have not respected the feminine the way that we should? I hope so. Because the truth of the matter is, even though these scripts in this book that created narratives, to control our consciousness we are no longer bound to that so when slavery ended 2019 that was the end of that the curse that they created to keep us bound as slaves that ended in 2019 that's why the end of 2019 they rolled out this virus which is really radiation making us sick okay that's why they did that because in 2020 Saturn Jupiter conjunction the codes inside of you for ancient knowledge that you might be afraid of is what's going to stand between you and your purpose in life is what's going to stand between you realizing why you suffer the way that you suffer why you accepted to the parents that you accepted to be born in, um, into this incarnation with and it's going to direct you so that you'll know and have more clarity on what it is that that you can be doing here that's going to assist your soul in its evolutionary process but also be a benefit to others 
So the planetary magic class is on sale. That's just a little bit. The religious detox is on sale. We're constantly dropping prices and putting things on sale. Um, you know, as my guides are directing me to because I can feel certain souls are finally ready for this. And for some of us, it took a pandemic. It took death. It took illness. And it took us losing jobs and maybe not having as much food as we're used to to get to this place where we're ready to heal. Now, your inner child, if it experienced any religion, even just inside of the womb, that causes womb trauma. This was intentional, y'all. Okay? These false ET gods, this was intentional social engineering, and we are in a Petri dish. But for you masculine dominant beings out there, as you can see, the feminine is changing. Her worth is increasing. Her value is increasing. Even if you can't see why she feels so valuable, because it's not visual, baby. It's energy. And so relationships are falling apart because the feminine is now being assertive, speaking up. And she has found her inner wild, her inner royalty, the inner goddess within her that remembers a time where she was always the oracle. She was always the one that was sought after by kings before making decisions. It wasn't the church. It wasn't the medical institute. All of these places use symbols that come from what the ancients used for healing, but it has been reverse engineered and it has been used to cause mental illness, sickness, and so many other things. I cannot wait to unravel the truth. And I'm telling you, if you're listening to this, you are one of the very few people on this planet that are rising to the challenge that you have been called for. So many people talk about intergenerational curses. But how can you do that if the understanding of astro theology, if the understanding of frequency, energy, and vibration, and the construct of the prison planet, what is holding it together? If you don't know these things, how can you end any generational curse? Furthermore, how will you ever show your wounded inner child that they are safe and that you are integrating yourself? And you will no longer live as a victim to life. All links are below. Y'all already know what this just been right about. Now y'all already know what we did, right? Uh-huh, it's getting real intimate with that third eye, that first eye. So as we always say, man, your third eye has just got kissed. Go on head over there so it can get kissed some more. And some more and some more planetary magic root camp to heal the inner child all right and as soon as you start we got a test for you to take so that you can figure out what your archetype is this is not a game this is me dedicating my life to helping people by helping myself first and sharing with you many secrets and it's time for them to be unveiled Peace and power. One love. KP on the beat. KP on the beat. KP on the beat. Casting the oracle, the one and only. 2021, just trying to help you stay focused. So oh,